Hey there, Chief. Don't hang up. I got a proposition for you. Who are you, and how do I know this... How did you know I was in this room? See the cameras in the corner of the room? Wave high. I'm on the other side of them. You probably noticed this building is under new management, right? And judging by the fresh corpses that I'm seeing strewn over the hotel, I'm guessing that you don't like the new guys any better than I do. Well, I'd like to make you an offer. You help cover my escape, and I'll get you into a secure vault upstairs. Belong to the leader of the gang that used to run this place. Trust me, it's secure. I set up the security protocols myself. The last stecker they brought in to try to crack it came out on a stretcher. They haven't found volunteers since. So you're a decker, I guess. That'd be an understatement, chum. More accurate to say that I'm THE decker in these parts. My handle name in the Matrix Blitz. Um, have you heard of me? I'm afraid not, dude. That's okay. I run in pretty rare field circles. Um, tell me about the gang who runs this hotel. They called themselves the Schwartz Harrison. And they pretty much ran Dorgenkip until a few days ago. They weren't a pleasant much. They were better than the jackasses we got in here now. What's the deal with the new gang? Why are they fucking up all, all this shit? They're terrible people. Real bad guys. Look, I don't mean to rush you, but we could discuss this all later. You know, after we get out of the building full of Mercer things? Alright. So, why are you in the hotel and why do you have access to the security system? I was in the hotel when it got taken over. The new gang decided to keep me on a staff, and I guess you could call it. They put me in matrix security. You're the one how to... Alright. Let's get to the back. Where's the vault? Gear, money, you know, good stuff. Alright. What are specifics? Um, alright. Fine. Where do I meet you? Room 505, penthouse floor. Come run the view with me, and I'll take you to the vault. Sounds good. Alright. So let's go back to the hotel, to the vault, and maybe I can finally get some money and not be poor for once in a get in a shallow run game. I always tend to spend all my money. Um, all right, let's uh get in here. I actually want to get to the first floor. I don't think I was able to open up the supply closet here, but now I can. So let's go in and see what pretty things are inside. Alright, what's in here? Inspect. Um, Alright, whatever. Let's go. Alright, so nothing up here. And I guess we could get, just go to the penthouse now. It doesn't seem like there's anything else to do here. Alright, so employees only. We did that. Third floor, fourth floor, top floor. Let's go. Yo, 505, right? Over here, bud. Are you sure you're not setting me up? Sup, Blitz? Uh, alright, need you to come. Deck your story in air. Kitty bit. Vault's around the corner. Once we get there, I can unlock it with a few clicks of a keypad. Built the dock door myself, then wrote the security system. Alright, let's go. I guess we found our new decker, guys. Oh, shit. Hi there. We got friends. Um, I'm going over here. Let's go in control mode. Let's do this. Alright. Hey there! Um, let's go here. And shoot this guy. Hi! The Rich. We need haste on... Uh, give Gloria haste. Alright. Now... You should go here. And... Actually, you should go here. Um, Gloria, you got haste, right? Good. Go behind there. Shoot him. Blitz. Behind this pillar. Um. What can you do? Not much. Alright. We'll end it right here. Ow! Pain. Ow! 
Stop shooting my robot! Thank you. That rich, you're gonna stay behind here. And you're gonna heal. Can you heal yourself? No, you can't heal anybody. Alright. You're gonna give aim to her. Alright, Elgar, take a shot. Thank you. Take another shot. Thank you. Um, Gloria. Nice. Alright. Move up. Move up. And you move up, Mr. Robot. Um, thank you. Blitz. You gotta go up here. We're gonna, we're, we're, can you shoot, the, yeah, you, well, we'll take a shot. Yep, I figured we'd miss. Wow, this, this, there's not much to this gang, is there? Um, my turn, right? Uh, can't get her. Alright, Darich, can you heal somebody? Heal her. She's gonna need it. And stay there. Let's get you behind this crate. And move into position. Nice! Nice shot, man. Did we go into this 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 thing? There I don't think there's anything in the the penthouse bathroom. Nope, 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 of course not. There's nothing here. There's never anything here. I hope this blitz guy doesn't, you know, fucking betray us. But I, I have a feeling he's gonna be our new decker. Here we go. Tap tap tap. Wait. When did they get that instinct? Oh, for fuck! Take cover! Oh, thank god. Ow! Oh, shit! Alright, I gotta... I gotta go over here. Take control mode! Alright. Alright, that's not it. Die rich! Please heal me! Alright, we gotta take cover. Edgar, get behind cover. Take a shot. Uh, Gloria. Heal yourself. And get behind there. Blitz. Can you... No, you can't. Alright, let's go over there. Um, and... Uh, I need you to heal me, please. Thank you. Ow. Alright, kitty bit, it's good. One of these has to work. Her aim. You go over there. Alright, sounds good. Fuck. Fuck! Alright, Gloria. I'm gonna get you up here. Alright, we're gonna end this. Oh, hi there! Oh, Jesus. Destroy! Well, you're out in the open. For fuck's sakes! Alright, fuck this. Fuck this. Here. Make her aim well. And get behind everything. You could... Seriously? Reload. Alright, Gloria, let's switch to Razor Claws. And another. Thank you. And that. He's right there. Blitz. And another, please. Ow. Why? Alright, I gotta get you out of this line of fire, man. First, I gotta hit the guy. I, I can't. Apparently, I can't hit the broad side of a barn. Healed. All right. Um. And I yeah. Let's see. You, you get 12% accuracy. Edgar. We go here. Hi there. Really. Really. Get over there and hit him. So he doesn't hit me. All right. More shooting. More shooting. All the shooting. Thank you, he's dead. Alright. Uh, end. 
Why does... Alright, um... I'm gonna give you haste, Agar. I'm gonna heal you up. And you're gonna go over here. Alright, let's... You... Switch back to pistol. This is the most bullshit ever. Alright, you... We stay here. Kitty bit. Are you serious? Alright. Um... I'm actually gonna go all the way over here. And... Yeah. Go to the next person. Uh, for fuck's sakes! Alright. Um... I think we all have to get to that room. So... Who are you healing? Heal her. Heal all the magic to her. And who's aim? Sure. You're getting 12% accuracy. Edgar? You're tough. Shoot it! Gloria. Let's go. We're never gonna do anything while we're here. Drone. Drone can go over there. My drone's gonna die. Blitz. Nice. Keep chipping it down! Ow! Alright, I'm wounded 12. I need to get my pack. Not enough AP. Alright, that's fine. Um, who needs healing? I need heals. Alright, Doubt Rich. Haste on you. And your turn. It's gone. Good. Good. It's down. Um. Alright. I'm gonna go over here. Hi there! Alright, I guess I need to be further. Can I go over here and shoot you? Alright, we gotta shoot this thing. We gotta chip this thing all the way down. Out of ammo. Reload then, you piece of shit! Why? Alright, and... Go this way. At least it's only the drone now. Alright, kitty bit. You gotta go over here. Um, Don't Rich will go behind this. We just have to get rid of that thing. And I'm gonna get rid of you. Kill it! Not enough ammo. Of course, only three shots, because that's 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 what it is. Um alright. Hopefully we can all Take out this thing. Thank you. Alright. Alright, that's probably was for the drone. I should have put my guy there. Alright, let's go in. Let's hurry up. Hurry up, people. We got we got a job to do. Great, more drones. A drone? Wait, a drone? Take the fucking drone. Um pick up that I don't know what I'm picking up pick up that open stash pick it up take everything um, pick this up and pick this up um, send it all to my stash all to the stash all right that's all he had in there Drek Yes. Come on, guys. That's it. All right, let's get out of here. Do 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 do. We are going to leave. Leave, 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 leave. What's in there? Was there anything in there? It's a penthouse. It might have nice stuff. Um, 
Nothing in here. I saw something to pick up there. We're robbing everybody, guys! Send it to my stash. And anybody in here? Nope. Alright, let's get out of here, guys. I think our job here is done. We picked up a, a lot of nice things while we were here. We're, we're good, Rao, right? Return to Kaiser Bag. Alright, sounds good. Return to Kaiser! Kaiser, Kaiser, Kaiser. Glove floor. Glove floor. Bye! Nobody! I was not here! Sayonara. See you later. Time to go. Nobody, nobody was here. Nobody was here. I wasn't here at all. Um, thanks for the assist. Can't tell you how happy I am to leave this place behind. Uh, happy to help. Must have been terrible to be stuck here. Yeah, it was no picnic. Uh, I'll tell you not much. You wouldn't need a Nova Hot Decker, would you? Because I finally said... I do need a Decker. Uh, we could use a Decker. Do you want to be our Decker? Excellent. Awesome. Because, why not? Why not? Why not? Just met a guy on the street. Says he's a Decker. We need a Decker. It's a match made in heaven. We make it back using the U nearest U Band station. 20 minutes later, you're on a return trip to Kai's Bazaar, leaving the filth of Drogan Kip far behind. But the image of Green Winter's twisted corpse continues to linger in your mind. You lift one of the discs that you pulled from Winter Safe to the light. Reflections dance on its surface. With luck, you'll know the answers of what you've been looking for. Um, you, as you lead your team through the shadows, your companions will continue to develop and learn new combat skills. Click the icon on the lower right hand corner to open crew advancement menu. When this icon is highlighted, one or more of your companions is eligible to learn a new combat skill. With each advancement, you may choose one of two possible combat skills for each runner. Choose wisely. Alright. Hey! Did that girl show up? Hello again. How's, uh, how's Silk doing? Ah, she mentioned that you sent her. I don't know what you told her, Kitty Bit, but whatever you said, it worked. Silk's determination is truly inspiring. A cram habit is difficult a difficult thing to beat, but I don't doubt she will make it. No preference, just passing by. Alright. Let's uh let's go into the have I seen you before? Have we spoken Oh right, you're the you're the tiny dwarf tech. Um I uh, acquired this drone. Can you get it up and running again? Probably. It'll take a bit of doing. I love working on old crap crop port drones. Can't make the make any. Either way, it's on the house. I'll leave it in your hands. All right. Um, I want to talk to you about like what else you got. Uh, tech. Uh, drone. Or, all right. So I could get a Lone Star. Which is going to take pretty much all my money. Or a robo-dock. Meditech on wheels. Best friend in the heat in the fight. Let's take it. Confirm. Confirm. Yay! I have two drones now. How do I equip this? How do I... How 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 do I do things? Alright. Spend karma. Um... I want two drones. Where is drone? Drone! And then, yeah, so let's do that, and let's do that, and then is there anything else I can do? Throwing weapon I don't need, unarmed, close combat, strength, dodge, rifle, maybe another rifle? Yeah, let's confirm that. Um... Do, 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 do. Dodge. Ranged. Let's do range. And then let's do rifle. Alright, we're all set. And for my loadout, inventory basic. Um. Oh. Doberman. How do I equip my second drone? I'll, I'll take a look once I get back to the safe house. What's this? Oh, right. Alright, so you could do... 
says accuracy run shot shot me. Well, you're gonna be a sniper, I think. So we'll confirm that. And you don't have anything. And I really use you for pistol and meltdown. Or I, I like meltdown. All right, let's confirm this. All right. Hey, our new Decker friend. How you? How you? How you going, Blitz? Um, I'm just checking in. You doing all right? Great, Chief. I'm doing just great. Real nice to be able to wind down and relax for a change. No worrying about this ganger or that ganger sneaking behind me and slipping a knife between my ribs. It's a good change, Chief. Um, good. Then you can finally talk your uh, current job. Kitty bit, come on. Blitz is always 100% focused. Um, any thoughts about the last round you'd like to share? Oh, Chief, I wasn't around for most of it, but you got me out of the hotel and you er, got my internal thanks. So I got some questions about you. Uh, how long were you in that hotel? Um, I ended up there after the Antichrist Anarchist Revolution of 39. I was just a kid back then, too young to realize how good I was, how much money I could have made working the shadows. And so being young and done, I fell in there with a gang crowd and that's it. You're a member of a drug... Alright. Later. Take care, Chief. Alright. I'm Cell. I'm Cell. I need... Oh, hi, puppy. How you doing, buddy? Ah, pet him. Woof. Amsel, what you got for me? Igor told me of Greenwater's death. She said that he died the same way Monica did. Um, it wasn't a pretty sight. I know that you and Igor have had your differences. I will tell you that she was badly shaken by the sight of Winter's body. She also mentioned that you found something in Winter's safe, a package of very old discs. May I see them? Yeah, of course, man. Good God. I haven't seen one of these since I was a boy. Kind of like how we look at VHS tapes now, I suppose. This is a... <laughs> this is a DVD slash RW, a storage, state storage medium from the mid-2000s. I'm surprised that Winter's was able to find a device that could play it. Can we read these somehow? The first this I looked like might be readable, the others are damaged, some severely so. I have my doubts about them. For now, let's concentrate on the undamaged disc. There is a shop outside called Data Heaven. Talk to the proprietor, Milit Holy. She might be able to help you. Tell her to put the cost of the device on my account. I'm on it! Um, hey Dietrich, how you doing? How's my main shaman? How you holding up? You seem to take Monica's death harder than the others did. No, not harder. I'm a less, I'm less buttoned up, up, up about that than others. Elgar will never let herself show any weakness. And Gloria, well, she's too full of chrome to feel much of anything. Me? I don't give a damn. I've spent too much of my life putting on a show for others already. What do you mean by that? I used to be a front used to front a punk band way back when, believe it or not, I spent a pretty good chunk of my life on stage. Whenever we weren't playing, I was living up to our fans' expectations, spouting out, getting into fights, getting drunk and laid. Not the bad life I can continue What was your band called? I doubt it, boss. We never got any airplay. Come on, Delwich, tell me. Alright. The... The gun was called Meister Kopf, spelled like it sounds, in big capital letters with an exclamation point. We weren't a big act or anything. We sold a few records here and there and toured around Europe. We had decent following in England, and we holed up in London from 31 to 36, spent most of our time slumming it around the East End, and picked up enough cockney to irritate the folks back home. Truth be told, that whole chapter of my life is a bit of a blur. We didn't do it for the fans or the fame. And we sure as shit didn't care about money. All that mattered to us was staying young, drunk, and angry. We managed the second, too. Good god, where has time gone? Well, anyway, boss. Everything eventually ends. And I washed my hands of it years ago, so let's change the subject. Um... Uh, how did you go from band to shadows? Wasn't a big leap. I already had a healthy disrespect for authority, and I had magic to back it up. 
One of the nice things about shamanism, as long as you keep your idol happy, it doesn't matter what else you do. The dragish slayer chose me to be his servant, and as long as I was scrapping with someone bigger than me, he didn't care much whether I did it on stage or the shadows. Yeah, well, tell me about this dragon slayer. He sounds boss. Not much to tell. He chose me when I was a kid. I couldn't... I could always feel him in my heart, gloating me to laugh louder, harder, and getting rowdier than the rest. Of course, my family didn't understand, but the hell with them, I thought. I knew I was destined for greater things. So I listened to him. I cracked the skulls of a lot of bad people. He saw this and was pleased and rewarded me with magic. And I used the magic to crack bigger, thicker skulls and so on. It's a simple life, but a good one. Anything about the last one you want to share? We found winters. That's something, I guess. The whole thing leaves me uneasy, but at least we have a direction to look into. You can sing? I was a frontman for a punk band, boss. Fuck no, I can't sing. <laughs> Take it easy, boss. Hi, bitch. How you doing? Look, I owe you an apology. Um, I'm listening. When Monica died, I was pissed. That probably doesn't come as a huge surprise, but I took the anger out on you and I shouldn't have. Seeing Winter's body like that was enough to convince me you couldn't have done anything to help Monica, and I couldn't have either. We're dealing with something new. Monica was a good friend of mine. Her death hurt. I got carried away and I said some things I shouldn't have. I want to apologize for that. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Well, I want to say a few things. You're a value member of this team, Iger, and we need you more now than ever. I'm glad you're on my side. Cut the bullshit, fierce leader. I don't respond well to flattery. I wasn't trying to flatter you. I was only trying to tell you how how wonderful and valuable I am. All right, whatever. Shut up. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Uh, how you holding up? Uh, alright. You sure? You look like you're a million miles away. That counts. Alright, press a question. Um, alright. Uh, that's all I need to know. I, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. I don't feel like getting into your past right now. Ah, oh boy. Go fuck yourself. Alright, let's go talk to that dwarven woman upstairs. Hey, Dante. Did you want to talk still, buddy? Boy? Boy? Um... Sit! Pet him. Woof. I like you, Dante. You're pretty cool. You and me, we're gonna get along great. Alright. Hey! Sup, chick? I need to talk about, uh, something about DVDs. Um... I'm looking for something you can play back on the DVD. Really? That old tech? Very old, in fact. Just a moment. I'll look. Yeah. This display was old enough to hook... Enough hookups to connect a DVD player. RCA, you know? Vintage. The player itself, though, this I do not have. You may want to try your luck down at the junkyard. There's scavengers down there. Primitive men with crude disposition. If anybody in the Crestor can help you with your DVD player, he can. He almost attempted to overcharge you. Um, you're not here for your gossip. 200 new yen? Amso says put it on his account. Very well. I'll have it packaged and delivered to her Amso right away. Best luck in giving your DVD reader. I wish you well. Alright, so we have to find this dude who is this way. Oh boy. Yeah. Fine. I won't flyer the bitch anymore. Piece of crap. Troll. Cunt. <sighs> Yos! I need a DVD player. Help me. Help me! Guten Tag. What could I do for you? Uh, Malat tells me you're the man to speak about DVDs. Little shoe sent you my way, huh? Will wonders never cease. Introductions are in order. Squirrely bootshop. That's your service. So you need something salvage. Old components. Vichet. I'm your man. A DVD player. Let's see, I got something that'll work for you. Here you go. 20, 2010. Real beauty. 
A real Korean player I dug up last week. How much you want for it? I'm um, a little loath to part with her. Plenty of folks out there who appreciate an older player such as this. I don't know what your intentions are for it. Um. Here, just take it. Just take it. Alright, see you later. I don't care. Alright. Back to Paul! I have your DVD player. Could you give me money? Because it took me a lot to get it. It, it, the pain, the pain of DVDs. Ugh.